have you ever been assigned to a project where each member of the team had the same perspective of how project control should be conducted in the project? Have you ever experienced uh, working in a project where there was a well-established project control execution strategy in place? Your answer is probably no, isn't it? Hi everyone, I am Shorek Gorbani. I'm the founder and director of Project Control Academy. The reality is that most project control uh, professionals have learned and developed project control skills from different sources and applications. You know, uh, some learn a specific skill based on their experience in a special project or industry. Others learned how to conduct an effective project controls from a senior staff or mentor in uh, their organization. And um, some have the experience of uh, managing and controlling the project from an owner's standpoint, while others have the contractor standpoint. So the bottom line is uh, uh, that the project control staff um, who are assigned to a project uh, would have different perspectives of how project control should be executed on the project. On the other hand, the owner, the project manager, and other project team members expect that the project control team to be fully aligned as to what project control approach being implemented for the project. Now, considering the diverse background and experience levels of the project control team, this is only possible if an agreed upon set of project control rules and guidelines are set in the project up front. And this is achieved by the development of a project control plan for the project. In this video, I'm going to share with you what project controls plan is in a project. So what is a project control plan or PCP? Well, project controls plan is a well-defined project control execution strategy that describes specific uh, processes, procedures, and tools that are used by the project control team throughout the project lifecycle. So the project control plan is a well-defined uh, document that the project control approach um, that you know the project control team are going to use in a project. AC International recommended practice on project control plans development considers the project controls plan as the communication tool for instituting the project controls process. So with the understanding of you know, what the project control plan is, now the question is, what kind of a plan is the project control plan? Is it a Gantt chart? Is it a process flow chart? Is it a narrative? Well, project control plan is a narrative or a qualitative um, representation of the project control process. So it is a document developed at the beginning of the project, but uh, it, it is not really intended to be a one-time effort and then archived among other project documents. The effectiveness of the project control plan is when it's considered as a dynamic document. It is expected to be updated and kept current uh, throughout the life of the project. First of all, it needs to get a formal approval and the person or a group of people authorizing the project control plan may be, might be an SME or a subject matter expert, a project sponsor, project director or project manager or anyone who is assigned as the authority to review and approve the document. And once it's approved, the formal revision control and management of change policy should be introduced to allow for any editing or updating the content of uh, the project control plan. I have to remind you that you know project control plan may not be a standalone document. In some cases, it is part of the overall project execution plan or PEP. And for your information, the PEP or project execution plan is basically the primary document that um, defines how the overall project will be undertaken. And there's usually a section in the PEP that addresses the project control execution strategy. 
So in some cases, the project control plan is embedded within the PEP uh, and considered as part of the project execution plan. But in other cases, you may refer to a separate standalone PCP uh, within your PEP. So in either case, uh, project control execution strategy need to be documented and controlled. So in conclusion, the project control plan need to be developed in a project to define a set of project control guidelines and rules uh, for project control team members and to promote a common understanding of their duties, project control work uh, flows, processes and procedures, tools and guidelines. And another benefit that is obtained by developing the project control plan is, uh, you know, having consistency and efficiency in producing the project control deliverables. So I know you might be wondering, okay, great, so, but what should exactly be included in the project controls plan? What are the components of the PCP? I will cover this in the next episode of Project Control Mastery. So please stay tuned for the next episode where I cover the exact components of the project control plan. Now, for more resources on project control plan development, I encourage you to check these resources, especially uh, AACE recommended practice on project control development. They have developed a very good document on the project controls plan, so make sure you check that out. Another resource that I recommend is a paper written uh, by um, Stefan uh, Cabana and Paul Williams on uh, you know the importance of project control plan that's a very good paper uh, if you have time check it out too also uh, on guild of project controls there is um, some short modules that address project controls plan so you can check that out for more uh, reads and uh, reviews and more resources so I hope this short video provided you some information on what a project control plan is and you know why it's required in a project. So if you have any uh, question or comment on this video, as always, make sure that you submit your comments and questions down below uh, so I can address them and assist you. Also, uh, if this video added value to you, if you found it valuable, please give me a high five by liking this video you and sharing it with your connections. So until next time with another episode of Project Control Mastery where I'm going to show you the components of the project control plan. Do your best in everything that you do. Make sure you develop a great project control plan for your project and make a difference. This is Shora Gorbani again. I just uh, wanted to say thank you for watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it added value to you and I hope you learned something from this video. If you did and if you want to be notified for any future videos that I release, just do me a favor and uh, hit the subscribe button uh, down below so that um, you uh, get the notification as soon as I release a new video training. I normally release a uh, such trainings on a weekly or bi-weekly basis and I want you to be one of the first ones uh, who get notified as soon as I release a video training. And second things I wanted to tell you is about my 10 day uh, free training on project controls on how you can start and step up in project controls, how you can accelerate your growth in project controls, what is the ladder of success in project controls and my journey in project controls on how I started and where I am right now, my secrets and the secrets of project control industry and much, much more. So um, if you're interested in that training, if you want to um, advance uh, in project controls, I highly uh, recommend you to watch this training. If you want to get into project control, this training is also for you and the good news is it's free, free of cost. So you can have access to my 10 day free training on project controls uh, by uh, enrolling for free. Uh, the link to uh, this um, training is posted here in this video. Uh, so check it out. 
out, just put your name and email so I can send you immediately series of training videos in your mailbox so you can watch them, ask questions from me so I can support you further than just this YouTube videos that you see. So I hope you can join me uh, by uh, clicking on the link or uh, putting the link on your browser and entering your name and email so I can send you my 10 day free training on project control. Thanks again for watching this video. I look forward to serving you in future videos. Until next time, as always, do your best in everything that you do, commit to excellence and make a difference in your career.